Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today's yoga flow is geared towards the third trimester of pregnancy. This can be a tricky trimester as you are getting very uncomfortable and anxious and excited to meet your baby. So go ahead and meet me in the center of your mat. Go ahead and start wiggling out your body, getting super relaxed. And we're going to start by rolling our head slowly to the left, making nice big circles with our head and allowing any tension to leave our neck and our shoulders. Go ahead and take a deep breath and then start rolling your head the other way. Again, nice big circles, really taking your time. Then go ahead and bring it back towards the center and we're now gonna roll our shoulders back. Again, nice big circles bringing them all the way forward and back. And then go ahead and switch directions. Continue taking nice deep breaths as you truly relax and gift yourself this time and space. Take a big inhale, reaching up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your arms down. Do that again. Big inhale, reaching towards the sky with your gaze as well. Exhale, bring your arms down. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, bring them down. One more inhale, reach up. Go ahead and leave your hands up there. As we reach towards the sky, exhale, bring your arms down into cactus pose. Inhale, reaching back up towards the sky. Bring your palms together and then go ahead and lean towards the left, really stretching out your right side body. Again, breathing into this sensation, allowing our mind and our body to relax. Inhale back to center. Exhale, reach it towards the right side. Inhale back to center. And then we're gonna go ahead and twist towards the left, keeping our arms nice and straight. Inhale back to center and then twist towards the other side. Continue taking nice deep breaths. Inhale back to the middle. Then we're gonna take our legs a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Reach up towards the sky into star pose. And then we're gonna bring our biceps by our ears, keeping our back straight, slowly diving all the way towards the ground. Wanna keep your legs nice and wide here to make room for your belly. And we're just gonna gently sway back and forth, just allowing the body to hang there. Breathing into this moment. Then we're gonna go ahead and lean into our left hip Doing a nice hip stretch here, releasing any tension we have in those hips, starting to open them up as we prepare for birth. And then we'll go ahead and take it to the other side. So leaning into that right hip. Taking one more deep breath here. And then go ahead and bring it back towards the center. We're now going to keep our right hand on our mat and reach our left hand towards the sky, giving ourselves a nice gentle stretch in our spine. You can look up towards your left hand if that feels comfortable. And then go ahead and bring it down and do the same thing on your right side. So keeping your left hand on the mat and reaching your right hand towards the sky. As we come back towards the center, you can even tuck your hands into your elbows and just kind of hang there for a second as we continue to release any tension from our back, shoulders, and hips. Then you're going to slowly roll up and just kind of shake it out and go ahead and meet me at the front of your mat. Here we're gonna take a nice big inhale, reaching towards the sky, and then swan dive down towards the floor, placing your hands on the mat, and then going back into plank position, and finally meeting me in tabletop. If you need to get into tabletop in your own way, please take your time as you are in your third trimester. 
Once you are in tabletop, go ahead and just start swaying your hips back and forth nice and gently. It's almost like your hip is meeting your shoulder, even though that's not going to happen. That is the direction that you are moving your hips. And then once it feels comfortable, we're going to just start making big circles with our back. Again, stretching out those hips, you can see how I am just kind of taking my spine in a big circle, stretching out my belly and my abs and my hips. Again, do what feels comfortable to you. But we're just kind of loosening up our back and our hips with these giant circles. And then we're gonna move into some cat cows. So starting with your tailbone, pointing it towards the sky, inhaling, arching your back, looking up towards the sky. And then exhale, tucking your tailbone in, rounding your back, tucking your chin towards your chest. We're gonna do that a few more times. So inhale, tailbone towards the sky, arching your back, looking up towards the sky. Exhaling, tucking your tailbone in, Rounding your back, tucking your chin towards your chest. Inhale, looking up towards the sky, arching your back. Exhale, tucking the tailbone in, rounding your back, bringing your chin towards your chest. Inhale, cow. Exhale. Now once we are back in tabletop, we're gonna find our balance and we're gonna go ahead and extend our right leg behind us and our left arm out in front of us. It's okay if you're a little wobbly here. Truly take your time and breathe into this stretch. Then you can bring your right leg and left arm down and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So gently extending our left leg and our right arm out in front of us as far as we can and then bringing them down. Then going back to the other side, stretching them out as far as you can, and then bringing them down, and then one more time on the other side. Now back to tabletop. Go ahead and bring your toes together. Bring your knees wider to make room for your belly, and we're gonna sit it back into child's pose. So your palms are still at the front of your mat. You're stretching out your arms and your shoulders, your back and your hips. We're gonna take a few moments in this pose to take some nice deep breaths. Allow yourself to truly be in this moment and allow your body and mind to relax. Taking nice, deep breaths. You're going to stay in child's pose, but you're going to bring your hands towards the right side of your mat as you gently stretch out your spine. Continue to breathe and be in this moment. And then we're going to take our hands towards the left side. Again, your legs are still in child's pose as you're stretching out those arms, shoulders, and hips. And then you can bring it back towards the center of your mat. Go ahead and meet me in tabletop again. We're going to do a few more just hip stretches, whatever feels intuitively right to you whatever you need in this moment i'm just rocking my hips back and forth and then take your time as you meet me on your back we're going to slowly lower onto our back straighten our arms and our legs and then you're going to bring your left leg towards your chest just gently tugging it towards your chest as you breathe into this hip stretch. A lot of hip openers in this yoga flow as we prepare for the next stage of pregnancy. Go ahead and release your left leg and bring your right leg up towards you. 
Anytime you feel mind stories coming up about the next stage of pregnancy, continue to breathe. And remember that all you need to worry about is this moment. Go ahead and bring both knees toward your chest and hug them in toward your chest. You can even gently rock back and forth. Take one more deep breath in this pose. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our arms in cactus position and slowly lower our knees towards the left side. Again, getting a nice gentle spine stretch. Inhale, bring your knees back to center and then slowly lower them towards the right side. Your arms are still in cactus position or you can move them to any position that feels comfortable to you. Inhale, bring your knees back towards center. And we're now gonna do a sitting figure four. So bring your left ankle towards your right knee and we're gonna gently push our left knee towards the front of our mat, keeping our arms down by our side. Again, opening those hips, breathing into this stretch. And go ahead and release that stretch. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So bring your right ankle to your left knee, gently pushing that right knee towards the front of your mat, stretching out that right hip. Then go ahead and put your right foot down. And then if it feels comfortable to you, you do not have to go into this pose if it is not. Go ahead and push your arms into the mat and slowly come up into a bridge stretch. So pushing your hips towards the sky. You can even kind of have some slight movement here, rocking back and forth. Again, do what feels intuitively right to you. Go ahead and lower your hips and let's do one more knee hug towards our chest. And then slowly lower your legs towards the ground. Now we're gonna end our yoga flow in Savasana as usual. I'm gonna go ahead and roll onto my side because it can be uncomfortable to lay on your back in your third trimester. But again, do whatever feels best to you. We're gonna really focus on being present in this moment, connecting with our baby, and really exhaling and focusing on our breathing anytime mind stories come up. Just allow yourself to relax and be in this moment. Take a nice deep breath as we wrap up our practice here today. When it feels right, go ahead and slowly make your way towards the center of your mat and seated position, or you can stay in Savasana if that feels better for you. I am so honored that you took some time out of your day to join me in this yoga flow. I am sending so much love and high vibes to you and your baby. I will see you in the next video. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed today's yoga flow or meditation, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any future yoga flows or meditations. Or if you have any ideas for topics you want me to cover in the future, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video. I love every single one of you and I'm so grateful that you joined me today. See you in the next video.